there behind us. So you can see her back there in the mirror. Um, I don't really know much about the accident other than my dispatcher was saying it's really bad. If the description is where I think it was, it should be on the other side of this bridge here. I think I see red and blues ahead. there. It looks like it's in the uh, barrier wall right there. Looks like they probably have that uh, lane of 36 shut down. We're going to have to make the loop under the bridge here. Right there, if I'm seeing what I think is what it is here. It's, uh, let's pull up over there to the car. I see it vehicle there, and they're parked on like the inside of the construction zone there. Just going to have to back down into there. That vehicle doesn't look harmed. See, let's see how bad it is. Morning. Hey guys. Yes, it is the one oh, yeah. down, down so, there. The story goes, what it looks like is, you know, if you turn down the way, it was going the wrong way. Oh, I said whenever I came came down this I seen that one side was like so, pretty gone. Oh yeah, you can see it. Yeah. It hit, knocked some stuff off. It hit, flipped around, and rolled downhill. God, wow. he was moving pretty fast then. Yeah, I'm thinking he was going pretty fast. God, yeah, because that's a, a pretty good one. Wow. But that is on both sides, you guys can get that. There's no front tire. Okay. Fire department would have cut that right there. Right. That 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 eight pillar. Ooh. It's sheared. Wow. Yeah, it like ripped the spot welds off of it. Wow. Yeah, this dude is lucky to say the very least. Mm hmm. Okay. The airbag definitely saved his life. And yeah. The seatbelt too. But yeah, yeah. He had like no leg room. His, his yeah, chair no, like is no it, longer mounted to the. Body like literally, like ripped the floor off at the frame rail. It's like, 
Wow. And he bought, that's crazy. Yeah, he, that is. He didn't call us, he called his family. <laughs> yeah, because that's, I mean, somewhat understand, especially in shock, but yeah, we probably should have Yeah, no, that's, back that's, that's kind of what I was saying. There's like a nice ramp right there they built to get out on it. Let me just 
throw that in the in the truck there. All that big stuff. Let's do it. let's go ahead and get it loaded up. Just throw that in the bed. Let's get this thing loaded up. It won't take but a minute to load this thing up. Shove it in the, yeah, there you go. He's very lucky. I mean, to have come through here the wrong way like that. I mean, because that was like completely the wrong way. Like, there was. I was going to try to get underneath it, but we're going to have to drag it anyways. That's, I mean, it ripped the whole thing. Yeah, no, like it's... He got it good. Did, did he leave, or is that him up there? No, I think he... Pretty sure, I'm sure he got transport, I would hope. He just put that... Just grab that control arm. Oh, let you... It's even got a control arm on this side. Okay. Good. Yeah. Hill kind of like this. Hey, bring that over here. Uh, put this like long ways under, oh. under the frame. Now let me come down. Don't put your hands anywhere. your bed you're gonna really want to watch when you go to come up because of all the things that could hang because you know your bed is just that square edge right. mine is a pretty kind of pretty good slope too
it coming on, kind of like right here. It's really bent, but um, you just gotta watch and make sure the blocks are like that. Um, yeah. so yours, that would be the base of the lowest point would be coming on right then, so. I could get it with that one. We could probably get it with that one side, but it might make it a twist when you only hook that one side. So if you can get both sides, get both sides. block from back behind the tire there. Just that one. Stick it in front of this tire right here. Keep it from turning? Well, no, yeah, to kind of keep it from turning. But also, it'll probably make it want to turn out this way. You see it? Because it's dragging on that side and rolling on this side. So it makes it, it's good. It was wanting to steer off that way. So that should keep it a little bit more cinders now. So, let's go on the other side here. I'm gonna leave that over here if we need it. I wanna watch this door on this side because all of this mess, you know? Yeah. I just put some blood on this stuff, so try not to touch anything. Could be a little bit of both. Just watch for all the stuff that could hang on these. I generally like to leave a little bit of room on the winch. Okay. And then roll it up. Obviously watching for the door to not smoke us in the face. Because we can't secure it. Kind of fancy with these. Um, I don't know if it has strap yet. Huh. Might be able to use it. Yeah. What is it? 
attached to it. There's multiple racks. I'm assuming it was in the bed of the truck or something. Or the inside. Yeah. Go ahead and grab that stuff. Still waiting on the latch for a moment. Box to come in. I'll try to strap if I can find something. Yeah, the frame slot right there. important on these especially with no wheel yeah. they'll want to twist around on you which is why I got it chained in the rear so it can't literally have any give and strap it in the front on both sides as best I can uh, still gotta try to secure this door I guess it's really going anywhere. We'll probably leave that one how it is. Let's try to get some of this stuff, the big okay, stuff picked up. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up on the concrete here okay. so we can just throw stuff over.
begin picking up some of the large chunks and then eventually get him to uh, pull the traffic for us. about these little pieces. Uh -huh. Mostly the big stuff is gonna get a tire. That's uh yeah. So I kinda parked right there so that we can just throw it over the edge. You know we ain't gotta carry it around just get it off safe, you know? Yeah.
what's that? Right here. Yeah, you could right there. I just said somebody don't come flying through here and smoke us, you know? big chunks of nothing so all right. we're gonna just throw all the stuff inside the truck now side where you could come come help see that uh yeah if it was just me i think i would have got here and be like uh <laughs> <laughs> nah you'd have had uh. it this was pretty simple i don't see it i guess we did get it since we're here all right yeah just go ahead and Thing will slide off pretty easy, so. Okay. Alright, well, well, thank you. No problem. Go ahead. 
this thing to our yard. Uh, Sari's gonna go on home because she's closer to down here than she is our yard, so this thing will slide off pretty easy, so there's really no sense in her going. Thank you. Obviously, we didn't need two trucks here, but we, uh, she was in the area and she needed some experience, so we brought her out to get some experience. Cool thing about Suri is she's willing to learn. She, uh, not like some, some new people that try to act like they know it all. She's willing to learn and that's always a nice attitude to have. So, we are heading to the yard and we will be over there here in a little bit to get this thing unloaded. Thanks for watching. All right, we're back at the yard here. Go ahead and get this thing dropped off. Back into our spot here. Corners. I don't think this thing is going to be going anywhere anytime soon. It's pretty, uh, pretty gnarly how this thing came apart like that on that guardrail. Dude is very lucky to be alive. the uh, windshield there it looks like he probably came loose in the impacts yeah, because the uh, seat belt got sheared off when the a-pillar ripped if he even had his seat belt on at all the seat belt would have been attached to uh, all of that which Attached because the seat came undone and everything. So there's uh, no telling, but this guy is definitely, definitely blessed. Driver said this guy was out walking around. He called his family after the incident happened. I'm guessing he's at least in decent shape.
chains put up here real quick. Glad when we finally get that box fixed. Still waiting on parts that should be here anytime. thing's gonna want to roll all the way off or not. Looks like it's going fairly straight. That's nice. Looks like it's rolling off. chunk of wood around here somewhere. We'll try to put it up on that block of wood to let it rest. Actually right here. that under the frame there make it easier to unhook and load and unload bed off now. Alright, we got this thing unloaded. Gotta finish up my paperwork and get everything put in here. So if you would keep the occupants of this thing in your thoughts and prayers. Sounds like they're at least doing decent if they were able to call their family said they were up walking around just a little sore. Uh, keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, we are done with this one. We will be back on whatever we got next. Thanks for watching, guys.